Douglas Sirk made these films in the 50s that don't look or feel like any other filmmaker's films. They go beyond the story themselves and talk about a kind of despair. These are about the lives, the, 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 the family life and the romantic life of, of all of us who don't get to act out on the, on the big stage these sort of fantasies of conquering the world or, or taking on, you know, the dark forces or whatever it is. And so there's something inherently unheroic about the people. And, you know, these days everybody wants a movie to, to show you the good example and to show you the hero and to show you somebody fighting back and fixing the world or whatever. Well, these movies don't do that. The characters in Cirque films, they're never quite up to the tasks that they face. He found in melodrama all of these um, beautiful examples of sort of pure cinematic expression that would also reflect a sort of fragility and a despair on the part of his characters that would create a kind of dilemma for the viewer at times because their expectations for resolution and for overcoming conflicts would not be met by these films. And despair and a sort of futility and sometimes a sense of a circular narrative where people end up going back to where they began was really what he was communicating in these movies. So they were working at a level that was far beyond the critical capabilities of contemporary film critics in the 50s, for instance, in America. He saw something in Rock Hudson that um, sort of defied categories. And he saw something very honest and um, unmistakable in him, that he felt the camera almost as an x-ray could perceive in Rock Hudson that, that you might miss in the sort of physicality of Rock Hudson or the beauty of Rock Hudson. Imitation of Life is the Cirque film that makes you cry. And I'll, I'll read my, my, my favorite, I know it by heart, my favorite quote from Fassbender is about the irreconcilable relationship between Annie and Sarah Jane. And he says, um, we understand both of them and both of them are right. And no one will ever be able to help either of them unless we change the world. We all cried at the movie because it's so hard to change the world.